Hey friends, welcome back to Lori's Boston Found, where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori. I have a great savers haul for you today. I got 27 items for $139. I was there for their 4th of July, 30% off savings. They, they do it over the course of like three or four days. And I went in um, a couple days before the 4th and hit a great sale. I found some awesome stuff. So if you want to see what I found in this haul, stick around. I'll be right back. Also remembered that I went out thrifting one day with Angie and so that was also at Savers. That stuff I haven't even gone through yet so that's not included in the 27 items for $139. So I will go through these separately. Um, so why don't we start with these? This was just a 20% off day and I don't have the breakdown because Angie was with me and half of the stuff went to her. But I did find these Jack Rogers shoes. They were a little on the pricey side. They were uh, $10.99, but I liked the little heel in these. I thought it was different for Jack Rogers. Usually they are flats. These are a size nine. So $10.99, uh, that's debatable. I might've paid too much money for these, but hopefully I'll get between 30 and $40 for these. They're in really excellent condition. I wanna get them listed now while we are in the heart of summer. These I thought were really nice. These were a nice pair of Vionics in excellent condition. These are the leather Vionics Mary Jane. These were just $8.49 before the discount. So I grabbed those hoping to get between like 35 and 50 for these shoes. And I believe these are an eight and a half. Nope, these are also a size nine. This is a like new Vineyard Vine skirt just has the little whale there um, and there are shorts inside so great for a walk or tennis or running and this was $5.99 and then the 20% off and this is a size medium looks like a pretty generous cut for a medium another skirt this is a size large in this really like almost fluorescent peach color uh, the, this is Nike and my daughter really loved this skirt. She wanted this, but it wasn't her size. So again, same price, $5.99. And yeah, size large. This is really cute. It also has like a, this is like kind of mesh detail right here. I'm not used to filming downstairs. The lighting's a little different. I hope it's okay. Uh, this was the last skirt that I got, and this was actually my favorite. I just thought it was really different. And this was only $3.49. It's Adidas. If you hear like little pitter-patter. It's lucky walking around. Um, really cute pleating in this, and I just loved the teal and all the pleating right here. I thought this was really different, and it's also a size large, um, and it's Addy Pure, like Adidas Pure, which I've never picked this up before. Do you have any experience with this? But three great exercise skirts, um, $5.99, $5.99, and $3.49 plus 20% off. So these were all great. I'll probably list them all between $30 and $35. Uh, it's interesting that I have all the prices left on these because usually I take them off before I do my haul. But this is a BB Dakota New With Tag blazer. I thought this would be really cute for the fall. I love the fun leopard liner. It is an extra small. The price tag on it is $98, but it's $11.99 plus the 20% off. I don't know, BB Dakota is kind of hot and cold for me. I'm hoping that because it's new with tag um, and we are coming into that season, that will be a good flip. This, I think I got sucked in by the new with tag because it's not really my style. I should, I definitely need to look at comps on this. So it's free people, which you know I love. Well, it's We The Free. Also new with tag. It's a vest and it was priced at $5.99. Uh, the price tag on it, the new with tag price tag is $108. So that really got my attention. And then it's just this kind of like military Sergeant Peppers looking vest. Could definitely be cute. Has like a, like an adjustable strap. You can tighten it if you want. Or maybe this is just a, oh no, this is just to tie it in the front. It doesn't actually button. So the military buttons are just for show. But I mean, for, you know, under $5 with a $108 price tag on it, I thought this was a good pickup. I'm a sucker for free people that's new with tag. It wasn't the style. My daughter was like, oh no, mom, I don't think so. But I still got it. Another new with tag item. This is a Prana dress. This was $11.99. Again, you guys can see how expensive my savers can be. But I think um, I definitely was in a new with tag kind of vibe on this day. So this was $11.99. It's an extra large also. 
Uh, the price tag on it is $99. It's the Grace Trail Dress by Prana. And I just thought this was really cute. And I liked that it was also extra large. Probably listed at 50 or 60, you know, 40 to 50% off the sticker price, the MSRP. And, you know, hopefully if I sell it for 40 ish, and then Poshmark takes their 20%, that leaves me with 32. Okay, the last two things that I got are very random, but I picked up these handmade paintings. Uh, these just remind me of something I would see at Anthropology or in like a fun little urban shop. Um, it just says MLH 81. So these were just done by hand, but they're from 1981, obviously. So they are 30 years old, which I think is pretty cool. And um, they were $2.99 a piece, so $6 and then 20% off. And they complement each other. Oh, that one's upside down, sorry. <laughs> they complement each other, but they're not identical matches. And I just thought they were really cool. There's a tiny bit of like, little bit of chipping or wear on the paint here, but I don't think it will take away from it. And I just thought those were really cool. I don't think they'd be terrible to ship. I can wrap them up nice. There's the back with the $2.99 tag. There's this one up close. And I just thought this was worth taking a chance on. I think they'll photograph really well. They'll look nice in my closet, maybe eBay. I should probably get an Etsy store going. I just don't have an Etsy store. So that's it for what I bought when I was with Angie. So now we'll shift gears and I'll grab stuff from the other day. This was a great find. I got these Lululemon high rise. They're not a lines, but they're very high rise. Maybe they are wonder unders. They are size 10. The tag was still on and they were priced at $7.99. Oh my gosh. I thought this was such a great score. I'm kind of tempted to keep these. I don't know how I would look in this color, um, but they are really nice and they would probably be about mid calf. Once you put them on, it is so quiet in my basement. I know I commented on this the last time I filmed, but it's almost weird filming here. It's like oddly calm for me. The lighting may not be as good, but I'm thinking I might be doing a little bit more filming in my basement until Rocco goes back to school. Jay goes back to the office. I'm just kind of maxing out lately. This is a fabletic skirt. Oh, a pair of shorts. Actually, it's not a skirt and it's really cute. I love the detail on the back. When I first walked by this, I thought for sure it was Lululemon. Um, it's got a little zipper here, some ruffled detail here um, and underneath it has like the shorts built in with pockets underneath so really cute the problem is there is no size tag so I had to go by measurements unless you guys know of a trick with Fabletics I didn't find a size dot or anything like that but I think I have these priced around $25 I think these were $5.99 as well um, so may not get as good of a return as I did on the other shorts and skirts that I found with Angie, um, but this was the other day that I went. This is a Helly Hansen shirt for men, and I really do like selling Helly Hansen. This is a particularly nice shirt in my opinion. I think the detail on the buttons is awesome. It's very lightweight. I love the color. Um, it's a size large. This is their Eco Lab line. A little zipper right here. There's great detail on the buttons. I do like that. You do want to run your comps on Helly Hansen stuff, but um, it is a good brand and I really liked the style. Oh my gosh, this is totally random. This was on the side of the road. I have a couple extras in here. I drove by this house on my way home. I don't know. It was like two, two miles from my house and they literally had a rack of clothing um, and just said free. And we went there and there's a local winery uh, that we love to go to and they had eight or ten wine glasses from the local winery so I grabbed those for Jay in this dress for eighty dollars the Habitat shop is where this must have been sold. It's just a boutique, the Y Ya Los Angeles, but uh, this was free on the side of the road, new with tag, with this pretty pleated detail and cute little tiered ruffle and this smoky navy blue. So sure, why not? It's amazing how some stuff ends up in my possession. I'm a little embarrassed. As I look through this bag, I'm realizing there are things in here that I picked up at Cape Cod with my friend. So disregard the beginning of this video where I gave a breakdown because some of these things are from the Cape and I believe this is one of the items. Uh, it was half off day at Salvation Army in Cape Cod. Maybe I'll remember to put that in the title. I went to the same one with my friend Hope when I did my Thrift Across New England series, but I was with my girlfriends um, down at the Cape. I go every year with my kids and just the girls. And so this it was new with tag. And I believe this was priced at like $7.99 and then half off. The brand is Waverly Gray. I don't know 
how good the comps are on this, but it's a $188 price tag on it. And it's this beautiful shirt that just crosses over in the front and it's got like a little, you know, thingy that goes around the neck. So definitely worth a try for $4. If I'll, I'll probably list it around $40, $45 and see how it does. These are just a pair of Nike shorts. I like getting these Nike dry fit shorts. You know, they're a quick $17, $18. So if you can get them for $3 or less, uh, they're just fast movers. And I liked the pattern on that. I liked the black floral. I thought it was pretty cute. I picked up this coach bag at Savers. Uh, I've been on a I love coach kick lately, uh, and I'm not a big fan of their signature line, but this was too beautiful condition to pass up. Um, it's like new. It has, you know, the cursive script for coach and it's patent leather trimmed. The lining is gorgeous. This is just in excellent condition. It's black on the inside. I think this is called the duffel. I'm not sure exactly what the style is on this, but I'll probably list it between $40 and $50. And I think I paid around five or six. I do know that my average cost of goods at Savers that day um, was like $5.11. These two bags I got at the Cape and neither one of them were on sale. The half off sale applied to clothing only, not handbags, clothing and shoes. So I actually paid $15 for this Michael Kors bag, but mini bags are so in right now. And this is just so classic. I loved the size of it. I thought it was so cute. Um, it's in really excellent condition. The comps on this were really good. When I first picked it up, I had no idea what the comps were. I just know that the gold chain, this caramel color, the, the gold hardware, just so much going for this. Um, I'm probably going to list this around $80, $90 and then see where it ends up. But it's in really beautiful condition, although there looks there appears to be a little bit of scratching on here. So I'll definitely note that in the listing, but isn't this so cute? So cute with jeans, just so easy. I don't know where my phone ended up, but I'd be curious to see if my phone would fit in here, but I think it would, maybe on an angle. I don't know, but super cute. This bag I picked up um, at Salvation Army as well. This is leather and I just loved the snakeskin pattern on it. It was also a crossbody, like new. It's kind of embossed on the thing, but I think it's G. H I or Gill. I think it's Gill. G I L L is the brand. But this is like new. I paid $7.99 for this, and I will probably list this between $50 and $60, and it will probably sell around $40, I'm guessing. Um, but so pretty. Again, definitely fun for back to school. I love crossbody bags to you. They're like, they're a way of life for me now is crossbody. So, so cute. And especially since like I recently picked, I recently bought a luxury handbag and when I see that there are these gorgeous bags that I can pick up for $8, it really makes me question my decisions in life. <laughs> but anyways, this is really, really pretty. So I hope someone scoops that up. This bag I got at Savers and I was very excited about it because I just absolutely loved this style and it had no price tag on it. And then when I got to the register, um, they charged only $6.99 before the 30%. This was a 30% off day. But then when I went to photograph it, I saw that on the handle, you can see right there, there's just some the start of some fraying. So I was really bummed because other than that, this is in perfect condition. It has this bright purple liner and the designer is Sandra Roberts. So some of the comps on her bags were not bad at all. And to pay, you know, seven less 30%, there's the label. Um, I was really excited. I still think it will be fine, but I mean, this was going to be like flawless bag, like new sort of thing. And then I noted that, but really fun style with the fringe. I think someone will really love this bag. I'll probably still price it around $45 and see how it does. Okay. I got the Ikea bag on my lap now. I think I need to start moving quickly. I didn't realize how much stuff I had. And then I had combined so many stops. You know, I have Salvation Army and Cape Cod. I picked these up. These are Lucky Brand. And I've really stopped picking these up in part um, because I feel like I know my savers marks their lucky flats really expensive. They're pretty, they used to be a really consistent flip for me, but not when, you know, savers marks them at $12. I love the stitching on the back of this. 
and I love the mustard color. So these are marked $4.99. These are from Salvation Army, so these were only $2.50, so they're really cute. There's a teeny tiny bit of wear here on the bottom, but the, the top part of the suede is gorgeous, and I think these are adorable for fall. One other stop to add to the mix. I don't know if you remember when I was shopping with Hope. The first place that we stopped at on our way down to the Cape was at the store in Lakeville, and my friend Marguerite and I, when we were on our way to the Cape, she has a house in Lakeville, so we stopped to check on her lake house and of course she offered to go in so I picked up these free people sandals they cost $15 but I loved them they are essentially brand new um, they are a size 41 in this beautiful clog with studs I love them in this you know this is almost like a gunmetal color uh, I thought these were so so cute so I grabbed those such a variety um, I believe yeah I got these on the cape at Salvation Army and the brand is Reese I'm still trying to find a style on these, but this is a very high-end brand. They're made in Brazil. They're a size 38, and they were $7.99 and half off, so I paid just $4 for these at Salvation Army. I think this shoe is gorgeous. It's in really beautiful condition. Um, this is just a Fabletic sports bra. It's like brand new. I loved the coloring on this. It's a large, I believe, and I loved the black trim. So cute. Thought this bathing suit was gorgeous. This was from Savers. Um, I loved the pattern on this. It's one piece. The comps on this brand are pretty good. I have to stop buying bathing suits. I keep saying that and I keep finding amazing bathing suits for cheap money. This is Blue Rod Betty. Um, and I just thought this style was so nice. This is a size eight. I got these adorable mules. Um, I can't remember where I found these. I think I got these, I think the rest of these are from Savers except for maybe one pair of jeans. Um, these are Adrian Vitadini. Whoops, I can't see that very well. There's that right there. The comps on these, I was a little disappointed with the comps, but these are brand new. They still have the tag on the back. And I just think they're a very classic look. I think they will be a perfect transitional shoe into fall. So these are new without tag, size eight and a half. I got this funky belt. This is just a little vintage belt. And I thought that the detail almost looked like a, um, like a painter's palette. And it's just adjustable here. Um, it is Adrian Lando, genuine leather, size large. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that brand, but I thought that was really nice. These I know for sure that I got on Cape Cod at Salvation Army, and they were not on sale, but I loved these. I paid $7.99 for these, full price. But they are Point Sur, which is a brand that is sold at J. Crew. They were new with tag, but what I didn't realize was the price on them. So I I saw that they were new with tag this way, but it wasn't until I got home that I pulled out the actual price tag. And the price tag on them is $128. So, and they're wide leg, raw hem. I believe they are a size 29. I will probably price them about half off, like 65 or 75, probably do $75 and see how they do. It's so cute and such a great style for right now. This is a J. Crew dress, and I just thought this was so cute, so classic. Um, very like a thick cotton. It's a size extra small. It's just a shirt dress with these nice big buttons. Looks like a, like a little bit of like a residue from a tag or something. I think I'm gonna have to wash this. I think I already photographed this and everything, but I'm gonna throw that into the wash. It's a little sticky. So so cute. Love this. I was very excited about this dress. The brand is Hell Bunny, and this is like a vintage style brand, uh, like kind of that pinup style. And how cute is this dress? I just love this. This was $9.99, so I paid $7. This was at Savers on the 30% off day. I just thought it was so adorable. It is a size medium, and it's just got apples and flowers, and I just think it's the cutest dress ever. You can see as I was shopping, even though I got some bathing suits and stuff like that, I'm definitely thinking like early fall styles, and this is perfect for like warm September apple picking. Oh my gosh, so cute. I wish it would fit me. I also picked up this top. This is a Madewell top. This was new with tag, so the price tag on it is $69. It's just this very um, muted, like, rust color with little teeny stars on it. And 
and I believe this was $6.99 and then 30% off. So really cute. Another pair of new with tag jeans. These are Princess Polly jeans and I really loved the style, but you know how much these were? These were $16.99 and then 30% off. So they are a size six. They're new with tags. So there's some distressing here on the bottom. They're super cute. I think I have them listed for 50 or 60. Um, I don't know if they're gonna sell for that though. Um, so I've essentially paid about 10 or $11 for these, which is high, um, but I really did love the style and um, they're super high waisted. They check all those boxes except for the price. They were a little high, but I figure worst case scenario, if they don't sell, I might offer them up to Angie. But how cute are they? I love the wash on them too. Okay, a couple pairs of leggings. These are Free People Movement. I'm not sure if you're, Free People has so many different lines. The New Romantics, We the Free, this is the Free People Movement low, uh, tag. And I just thought this mossy green color was really nice. And then it has this uh, tie at the bottom, almost looks like ballerina slippers around the calf. Um, and the tie is in the title, I can't remember, but these are already listed and they are a size medium. These were only priced at $3.99 and most of their leggings at Savers, they price at $7.99, um, so that was great. I don't know if I would have picked those up for $7.99 because you know those were probably sell around $25, nothing crazy on those, but these I was very excited about. These are like brand new, this was a big highlight for me. Um, and they're Spiritual Gangster. I just love this brand. I love finding it, and I don't find it a ton, especially in this amazing condition. These are an extra small. These were 30% off $7.99. No, what is this? You know, I just found this little pen mark right here. I'm gonna have to wash this too. I swear I already photographed these. What's making me nervous is that these have been in a bag for, I don't know, not that long. It's it's July 12th and I shopped for this on July 3rd. So it's it's only been nine days. I don't think anything would happen in that time. But anyways, it's kind of on the seam, but I'll have to wash them. But they have this metallic stripe. These are the rainbow leggings from Spiritual Gangster, but I am gonna wash this with J. Crew dress and hope it comes out. Well, I hope that stain comes out because those are really cute. Um, I'm thinking about keeping these because I love this color. These are Torrid, but they're size 12. And um, I don't really think that Torrid does very well with their mid sizes, like their 10, 12s, 14. I feel like if I pick up Torrid um, and it is more like a 3X, 4X, those I feel are the sizes that do better. Um, and these just look super comfortable. And they're like this rust color little jogger. Um, so I believe I am going to keep these. I'm looking at them right now. They are new with tag um, and the price tag is $55 on these. So I'm going to try them on. And if, I mean, they're going to be so comfy. So I'm going to try them even with like this denim shirt. They'd be so cute. I don't have any pants this color and this, I really love this color, especially for fall. This reminds me of like an Everlane color, you know, but really cute. And I think these were like $7.99 and 30% off. They were not expensive. I'm looking at this J. Crew shirt and I don't even know where it came from. I want to say I got this at the bins, but I don't know how it ended up in this bag. I have no, no memory of this whatsoever. It doesn't look like a shirt I'd pick up at, um, at Savers, but also for my birthday, one of my best friends went to the New Hampshire bins. She goes on her own. I may have mentioned this before and she bought me a bag of stuff. And so maybe I started washing that and this is from my friend Kim. I don't even know, but how cute is this? J. Crew. This is when, you know, you need to take a break. I need to like sort through all my stuff. I never really batch film and this is the third video that I have shot in two days and I haven't edited anything yet so I'm starting to lose track of stuff. All right these I picked up thinking Rocco might like them but Rocco never likes the sneakers that I get for him. So these but these are Adidas Climacool white and then they just have like this um, almost like a it, they're not dirty but they, they look like a yellowy plastic which isn't the greatest description, but these are in beautiful condition. These also were $16.99, but I paid up for them thinking that Rocco would want them, but they're really in such beautiful condition, especially for white shoes, I couldn't believe. I'm always amazed when I find stuff at the thrift store that's white and it looks so good, because you think of how far it's traveled to get there. It's really a trip when you find a beautiful white item at the bins, and I always laugh, like I'll find something at the bins and it will be beautiful white and then I'll get it home and I'll throw it on my counter and it'll hit a cup of coffee. <laughs> then it'll be dirty and I would say to myself like 
oh my gosh, like those white pants survived the world until it got to my house and then it gets dirty. But anyways, climate cool, 11 and a half, 11 and a half. Hi. How was lunch or breakfast, whatever it was. It was good. I'm filming. Kids here? I don't think so. Angie went to um, Chipotle and I haven't seen Rocco all morning. I don't know if he went Rocco's to work. Working. Did he go to work? Yeah, Angie brought him. Oh, all right. Cause He's I get picked up around five. Oh, okay. Cause his car is at Miller Brothers. Well, this is the last thing. Okay, and then lastly, my tried and true Lucky Brand plus size top. I will pick up Lucky Brand tops in a large, extra large 2X until the cows come home. It is such a consistent seller for me and this I loved. I even think I paid $11.99 for this and then 30% off, which some people might think it's crazy, but I'm sure that I'll get around $30, $35 for this. It's just become a, a piece that I carry in my closet consistently enough to know that if it's a good style and especially new with tag, I mean, this probably retailed for $68, $69, $79 and it's black which is always nice speaking as a woman who's on the verge of plus size myself. Um, I appreciate a good black top and it's bohemian. Lux, you okay? Lucky's getting lost in a corner. Anyways, this is sheer, so you'd have to wear something under it. It's like a semi-sheer top, but I'll probably list this around $45 since it's new with tag. And yeah, that wraps up my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying my new space here. It's a little weird for me to get used to, but I'm enjoying the quiet of the basement. And I will continue to film some stuff down here if it helps me produce more videos for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Love ya. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really means so much to me and really does help my channel. And subscribe if you wanna see more from me. Bye.